go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 50, and this is war number seven, and we're going up against an alliance called the Turks. All right, first, let's see who they've banned. They banned Corvus again. I guess people are learning. These, it looks like the same bands. People are realizing that Corvus is a serious threat. All right. It's cool. It's all right. We got other options. We don't need Corvus. He just makes things so much easier. All right. Let's see what we got going on. All right. So, okay, this works. This works. This works. Um... Even though they banned Corvus, they have not put anyone on my path where I would need to worry about the node. So Sauron, for example, we are I'm gonna strongly recommend my lady Deathstrike take care of that. Um, we've got, uh, Dragon Man. I can take Dragon Man with, um, heck, I can take Dragon Man with Hulkling. So we'll, we'll see how, uh, our planner does there. Um, Apocalypse, he doesn't get an armor up, so Lady Deathstrike can take him too. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Chitinous Thorns. Okay, so the bleed, if I get hit. But as long as he doesn't get an armor up, the uh, bleed doesn't matter. And then we've got Overseer here. Now, Overseer is a global defender, but it's not that difficult to deal with. So um, we just need somebody that has maybe a true strike or something like that. And we're good. So we'll, we'll see um, again who he decides to uh, have me going in with. And then because he assigns these. Um, hmm. That onslaught there. Looking juicy, but he has my full roster now. Uh, previously, there was some uh, confusion because I did a um, screenshot of my roster and then I put X's for anyone that I didn't want them to choose for defense. That's the only thing that, that he had. He saw the X's and thought these are champs that he shouldn't use. And so he never assigned me any of those, but those were my main attackers. That's why they had the X. So um, there's a bot in line messenger called Xavier. If you guys have not heard of it or used it, you definitely want it. You can add all your champions to it. And one command will generate a graphic and I'm going to show you that graphic uh, right now. Okay? So you see this graphic here? That graphic is what Lime Messenger does. So now, my um, our, our war defense, um, planner can look at this and choose attackers based on that graphic. It's beautiful. It's all in one graphic. He knows the rank the SIG levels, everything he needs to know right there. 
All right. So if it and even if your alliance doesn't use this, I say you guys should use it because if you're with an alliance that doesn't use it and they ask for your roster, well, bam, keep it up to date. Every time you get a new champ, you can add it. Anytime you get more SIG levels, you can update it. You just do one command. It's a graphic. You save it and you're good. Beautiful. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with the fighting. All right. So I'm going in with Lady Deathstrike, Hit Monkey, and Scorpion. They're not about to stop me just because they banned uh, Corvus. We got options. Okay. Now, our War Planner wanted, um, he had put in uh, Ironheart. Now, my Ironheart is six star rank four. And I don't really use her. Now, she could do the same fights that I brought Lady Deathstrike in for. But my Lady Deathstrike, I'm more comfortable with her. She's a seven star rank two. So he laid out, you know, the attackers that he recommended. And that's one thing that he's been emphasizing is that it is a recommendation. It's not final. We are to look over it. And if we have any concerns or if we have a better solution, we need to say so because we know our strengths and, and who we're more comfortable using. And so as soon as I saw the mutants that he had lined up, I'm like, Lady Deathstrike, I've already fought these champions with Lady Deathstrike and definitely feel much safer using her than I would Ironheart. Uh, at rank four, especially. Uh, if you guys have watched me use my Lady Deathstrike, you already know. You know, even like right here, he can't even go unblockable because that's one of her abilities. Shut that down if they have a heal block on them. Okay? And look at that. Just tore him up. No problem. And even if I had gotten clipped by his uh, special one, wouldn't have mattered. I would have healed up. So, I'm just like, pfft, boom. Now, Dragon Man was a little bit different. But um, Scorpion, Scorpion is so good. If y'all don't know, my Scorpion is rank 5, Sig, I believe he's Sig 200, um, and Ascended. Okay? And I'm just, I switched to Rupture because he's poison immune. And uh, I believe bleed immune. So he's not rupture immune. Look at look at the damage. Look at the damage already. Insane. Look at this. Scorpion nasty with it. Okay. So yeah, they banned uh, Corvus, but we got others. We got others to handle it. All right. So down he went, real quick and easy. Okay, I remember when Dragon Man was a problem, especially with that power gate. It was so annoying. We didn't know how to fight him very well. And um, he would constantly get his power gain, go all the way up to special three. But now that we know how to fight him and we've got stronger uh, counters, you know, he's not even really a direct counter. But you can see he got the job done. Now, here we go with Big Daddy Apaco. All right. And this is going to be quite simple, just like the other fight was. All you want to do is bait out his specials. And you'll see here, I'm not even uh, trying to evade it. I could. This is a great time to, to practice if I really want to because I will heal up. But let's play it safe, right? All right, so look at look at his health already. Just look at this. Now, on this node, he doesn't really gain any benefit because he doesn't have any armor ups. So, no bleed. If if he had gotten armor ups, I wouldn't have been able to use her on this. But we're doing some fun work right here. Look at this. Oh yeah. 
I remember um, when they were looking at her uh, retuning, I guess, uh, within the six months that she was released. I really would like to see her have a little bit more damage. I mean, she gets the job done. Now, look at this. I'm getting hit. Look at my health. I healed up quite a bit of that. But I got hit um, in the beginning. And yeah, so I didn't finish the fight with full health. But as you can see, trust me, my health would not be looking like that if she didn't have those nanites healing her up from special one and two attacks. I love her. You could you can make a mistake like that, still do good. Now, we've got Overseer. Now, Overseer, he has that auto block, okay? But on this node, he does not gain anything extra from it so i didn't need a, a shock immune uh champion to go against him and i got to use hit monkey who is clarity okay he has the clarity tag so look at hit monkey go look at him go oh yeah see all this auto blocking right here uh -uh. see I, I hit once because i was like wait a minute i don't have the clarity um buff okay i need one more hit there we go now i have the clarity buff now he can't auto block. That's something that I really have to watch out for. But we got it done. Hit Monkey in his usual flashy style. If they come out with Hit Monkey 7 star, I'm going to do what I can to get him. I really am. I, w I would love to have a Hit Monkey. And you'll notice mine is ascended. Uh, rank five. I don't remember if I took him to Sig 200. All right, now we've got Weapon X. Ironically, there is a chance to get a Weapon X right now in the July 4 sales, a seven-star Weapon X. I want it because, you know, it's a nice little uh, champion. He's still good, you know. Um, ideally, you want him awakened. But I would love to have a seven-star Weapon X. Maybe I'll be able to do it. We shall see. But Lady Deathstrike is made to counter Weapon X. I mean, she shuts him down. I mean, she makes the fight so simple and easy that all I have to do is worry about the nodes. Now I'm, I'm buffing up a little bit here um, just in case, because I don't get a chance to use my um, tech boosts. I can't remember the last time I used a tech boost. I think it might've been uh, when I was still using ghost possibly as a five star. I don't remember, but it's been that long, you know? So I'm just going to, you know, heal her up a little bit. Not that I need it, to be honest. Uh, and as you will see, she dominates Weapon X. Just have to be careful of the node. I have learned to deal with that node. You basically have to deal with them um, as if they're stun immune. So you can see here I'm, I'm blocking, but I'm not parrying. No parries. Okay, you see that? See how the auto block failed? And he has a heal block, so he's not only getting heal blocked, but he also can't go unblockable. And I want to bait out as many specials as I can because that gives me my opening. That's what you do when you've got um, somebody that you can't parry. You need to get your openings in. So you try to push him to a special as much as you can. Just look at this. Dominating. You know, as long as I get these specials in. Look at this. Bam, bam, bam. And it don't matter if I pushed him to a special two. That still would have given me another uh, opening. But as you can see, she dominates Weapon X. So there was no way I was going in with a rank four, six star Ironheart, who I was not really that comfortable with or really even familiar with. All right. So that's the last fight that I had uh, in this war. We'll be back and we'll find out how this war ended. And we're
we're back. And as you can see, we won this war pretty good, pretty good. Um, we had lost the last war and that dropped us back down to tier three. So this war should bring us back up to tier two because we're right on that edge. OK, so let's take a look here. We um, stomped him at that attack bonus. So we did really good uh, in this particular war. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown oh.